this is Lucky Robin and this is update 10 of the 2016 French Biointensive Organic Raised Bed Garden Series. I'm going to start up here. I've got three tomatoes here um, that I transplanted out of smaller pots. And then I've got three cuttings that I took of the black crim. I don't know um, if they'll make it or not, but I was trimming uh, branches off of the lower part because I don't like to have tomato branches near the ground. And I thought, well, I'll just stick them in some wet dirt and see what happens. And they were really, really sad looking when I first did it. And then these two here and here are coming back really strong. And this one actually looks better than it did. Um, I know that the better way to do it would have been to put it in water for a few days and have it develop roots, but I just wanted to see what would happen, so that's what I did. Um, potatoes are coming up in here. These are the purple potatoes. Um, I need to get some more dirt on these, and these ones I really got to get more dirt on quickly. Um, there's two peppers in there. They're cayenne. They're not doing as well as the ones in the main bed, but they're growing a little bit. Garlic seems like it's doing fairly well. Um, foliage is starting to brown just a little bit. Um, I know that these are supposed to be ready in June, and it is almost June, so we'll see what happens. Um, another onion scape coming up, and these ones are about to burst out. Those ones already have. Um, I really should probably pull those out of here. I just haven't. The lettuce is doing great in here. We're harvesting quite a bit of it um, every few days. So I think it's doing good. There's stuff eating on it, but you know, that's what happens in an organic garden where you don't spray. All right, so the herbs are really doing well. I need to harvest some of the flat leaf parsley and the golden marjoram and the curly parsley. The smaller tricolor sage hasn't really taken off yet. But the golden sage has and it's ready for me to harvest some more of it. Time is not ready for a haircut yet. The chamomile is starting to bloom. I don't know, it doesn't seem to be doing very well. Um, it seems stunted and it's getting as much water as everything else so I don't know why. Celery is trying to bolt. Uh, the chives are just about gone to seed now. The sorrel, the, the French sorrel has really taken off. So has the hyssop. I may have to take this uh, row cover off. Um, over here, the basil's getting shaded a bit by these green onions, which are big enough now for me to start using. So I'm gonna have to come up with some recipes for it. I do put it in my meatloaf, and I do put it in a flower soup, so those can be possibilities. Oh, that's almost ripe. And there's a small one there. Okay, over here, the carrots are not as successful on this side as they are on the other side. The onions are doing well, and there are a couple parsnips. I think those are parsnips back there. And I think that is one. And I think that is one. These are doing really well, but I'm having a hard time keeping them off the netting and to try and flower heads and stuff so I will probably let one of these go and cut the rest of them off um, we're getting a lot of a blood vein sorrel 
about every three days I'm harvesting this thing down and it gets it's just back to where it was three days ago. It's kind of crazy. Over on this side, the shallots and the rest of the onions are doing really well. The carrots are doing much better over here. Um, along this blank area, I planted some champion radishes and then along here as well. And then in front of the carrots here and between the carrots there, there's one radish left. Um, I've planted watermelon radish. This little vining flower I planted here is starting to bloom. Cucumbers have gone crazy. Um, they got quite large. And the peppers are doing well. Uh, we've had a cold snap. Well, not cold, but um, it's been overcast and kind of 57 to 60 degrees. So they're not growing as fast as they were. Been harvesting a ton of the lettuce in here and it's ready to be harvested again it's just kind of nuts columbine is doing well i think there's aphids in the brassica bed but the kohlrabi's growing so i'm not terribly worried i have to make up that garlic dish soap pepper mixture and then I'll get out here and spray some of these leaves down, or all of these leaves down, and hopefully they'll do okay. But um, the kale's doing really well. Um, broccoli as well, the pak choy. The last night of kale. Got the savoy cabbages over here. They've really taken off, the ones that have plenty of sunlight anyway. Um, these onions are doing well. I got them weeded. And then over here, the cauliflower, eh, not so much. I think it gets shaded an awful lot. And it's just possible, you know, that my ability to grow cauliflower is non-existent as usual. Okay, here is the black creme tomato. It is up to the third um, ring and it is getting blossoms. This one is the million yellow pears, I think is what it is. Or yellow pear or something. And it is also just touching the third bar. It's not that far behind. Um, got some Siamese basil down here. I transplanted my Lillian's yellow uh, tomato and my Opalka tomato. At least I think that's the order I did it in. No, wait. I went yellow, red, yellow. So this is the Opalka and this is the Lillian's. The zucchini really kind of went crazy this week. It's gotten very large. I need to probably take some of this. Um, so it's charred out, it's just, even though I keep cutting it off, it keeps bolting. So that's not good. And I don't want it to get so big that it's shading out the zucchini and other things. This is the Krippnik yellow squash. It's got really, really big. And also the uh, yellow zucchini. Although some of the leaves are really getting eaten on, these larger ones are doing very well. Uh, this this uh, this chard here is bolting, so I'm going to pull that one out. Or I'm going to try. They've got quite a root system. Ugh. But this one came out. There you go, birdies. Have fun. And that will open it up so that the yellow zucchini gets some more light. 
over here. I don't know what tomato my mother planted. Um, let me see. There's a tag down here. Oregon Spring. Don't know anything about it. But other than it should do well because Oregon is similar to Washington in climate. So the cosmos have been blooming and they're really taking over this area. Um, the bee balm has not started making flower heads yet, but it is huge. It is just massive. There is some more um, cauliflower, or not cauliflower, Romanesque broccoli. But isn't. And the cabbage is really, really not huge. The bronze fennel is doing really well. And the basil is getting, the sweet basil is getting better, bigger. But these two are under attack. So again, I need to get that garlic spray made. And then the nasturtiums are doing really well. And look at the difference in coloring in the leaves. So there must have been a mix in there. Now I will probably pull this there so that doesn't get completely uh, shaded out so anyway that is the garden update for this week uh, things are going really well despite the lower temperatures